what we see now is the uh, probable recognition by the military leadership in the Kremlin and maybe even by Putin himself that the operation is definitely not going according to plan and that uh, therefore Putin needs to find a sort of face-saving moment internally to justify uh, the fact that operations are going on great, quote unquote, that, you know, mission accomplished as we've heard said in the uh, in the Russian press. And therefore, since the initial goals have been accomplished, they can concentrate on what does actually matter now, which is Donbass. Uh, this is, of course, complete machinations, fabrications and propaganda from the Kremlin. And it is just Putin lying his way out of a quagmire, militarily speaking, at the moment. It does not mean that Russia is losing the war. It means that tactically and operationally, they cannot achieve more than uh, in terms of military gains than they've already done. So what we will see in the next few weeks is probably this concentration of troops towards Donbass to carry out a form of pincer movement or to try to join little pockets of advance from the northwest, uh, south from Kharkiv basically, down to this newly sort of formed land bridge between occupied Crimea and occupied Donbass with the fall, the, the fall of Mariupol or the demise of Mariupol being a sort of cherry on top that would be another form of victory on the cheap for the Kremlin to declare that they've, you know, quote unquote, liberated uh, city from fascist oppressors. And this would be turned uh, by the Kremlin propaganda as a form of victory to show A, the Russian population that the war is working and to bring then Putin in sort of the best place possible for a negotiated outcome. Uh, so you call it a losing edge, turning a losing edge into a form of a symbolic victory, which of course we shouldn't be uh, complacent to. But the greater risk now is that there will be even less liberated Ukraine and even more Russian controlled Ukraine. And this is definitely one of the risks that as Russia concentrates its force towards Donbass to try to hold more territory inside of the administrative oblast of, of Donbass in Ukraine, this would create a new geography, a new military geography where Russia would freeze their positions. This would not be a frozen conflict because conflicts are never frozen. People always die and positions always evolve. But at least this would sort of freeze the sort of main um, the main geography of Ukraine into a form of uh, attrition, and they would turn the movement warfare into a war of attrition once Russia deems that it is no longer able to conquer more land or to push further into Ukrainian territory. You can't exclude, but because, because of frustration, because of extreme irritation, and because of the sort of absolute willingness of the, Krem of the Kremlin not to give in to any inch of territory to, to Ukraine or to come at the negotiation table in the best way possible, they won't start pummeling and destroying Ukrainian cities more than they've done. They could very well use the, you know, the, the, the depth and breadth of their mass artillery fires to completely crush Ukrainian cities. They haven't done so. They have looked busy doing it, but they haven't actually committed to destroying these cities completely. Mariupol is in a really bad shape yet, but they haven't used you know, all that they could be using and all that they have in store actually.